Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadongster Ball, Bob Built for Theme Park News, and welcome to a Theme Park News from update from King's Dominion. Now it seems like the work on the crypt site seems to be going on despite the coronavirus pandemic. Now, before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, family, and on social media, and make sure you get your questions in using the hashtag QA. Um we get as we get closer and closer. And that ever so closer to 1,500 subscribers. So please do that and let's get into this video. So, this is all about King's Dominion. And we know that the Crypt site has got some work taking place on it for a potential investment uh, in the near future, if not 2021. Now, we spoke about this in a previous video, and the big rumor is an SNS 40 free spin roller coaster. Uh, that is from these leaked documents that apparently KD fans got. Uh, now there's a new article from KD fans, so I'll put the link in the description down below for that. Uh, you can go and read it. Uh, and basically, yeah, this is all about um, these this work taking place despite the coronavirus pandemic happening on the outside world. So work is still happening in-house to prepare the site. Now, all the information you're about to hear is from the KD Fans article. I'm going to put a picture of the SNS 40 free spin coaster for those of you who are not familiar with that type of coaster. Rumoured to be coming on the site in 2021 on your screen now. Fan Dabby Dorsey. And let's have a look then at what is happening. So, the article states, A month ago we threw the enthusiast community for a loop when we first reported having seen supposedly leaked documentation stating that King's Dominion was working with SNS, Sansei Technologies, to construct a 4D free spin on the former site of the crypt for the 2021 season. At that time, we also said we anticipated that given the planned construction schedule we were provided, new circumstantial evidence should come to light soon. That new circumstantial evidence has arrived, and at least thus far, everything is still lining up with the previous reporting. So what's new? We've seen evidence that soil testing either has recently or is about to take place on the former crypt site. If you follow BGW, uh, BGW fans' coverage of Busch Gardens Williamsburg projects before, you'll likely know that soil sampling is often one of one of our first major indications that something big is in the works. It's an essential precursor to any sort of sizable foundations, the type that are typically required for flat rides and roller coasters. In this case, there are reportedly six samples being taken, seemingly stretching from the former crypt location itself out past where the ride's queue used to be located. This theoretical KD Project 2021 construction area maps up perfectly with the official filed demolition and clearing plans first published back in February. Furthermore, the number of different soil boring locations suggests to me that this new attraction should have a much larger footprint and similarly require far more foundations than a typical flat ride would. This is naturally very good news for anyone hoping that our coaster replacing the crypt rumour is correct. Now there are photos of the current state of the construction site too, as you'll see they provide us with a ton of additional information. So you can look at those pictures in the article, I'll link to the description down below. Let's start with the obvious, Crypt Demo is complete, not just the ride itself, but all of its theming, queue, etc. There's next to no trace of it left in the photos, so if you go and see those photos, basically the Crypt has been completely and utterly demolished, the theming's been removed and demolished, uh, and everything is clear. Secondly, the wooden construction fence and the cleared area seem to extend well past the former Crypt Ride site, reaching back towards Avalanche's queue entrance. Though the map is in no way exact, I've included a rough estimate of the location of the visible construction fence below, and that is of course in the article. There's like a, a curve of a red line and it goes straight down, so it goes right past the, the crypt site and right near to the queue line entrance for Avalanche. If we assume heavy de demolition is over, we've seen no evidence to suggest that it's ongoing, the shape of the construction site looks like it could accumulate a long rectangular ride area parallel to outer hanks slash boo blasters very nicely. It's not difficult to imagine a small 4D free spin on the site at all, and hopefully they will have more conclusive evidence to share soon enough. So that, my friends, is all the information from the article. Again, I've linked that in the description down below, all the photos of the construction site, all of the um, 
other information as well and the image with the red line to show you whereabouts this site is, is going to be, how long this site's going to be. That is all in the article. That is all in the link in the description down below. So make sure you go and check that out. Make sure you go and um, read all the articles from KD fans. They're brilliant just as much as B, uh, BGW fans, KI fans, all the fan pages for American theme parks and British theme parks and European theme parks. They're all fantastic in each and every way. So, what do I think? I said from the very beginning, I said that a 40 free spin would be great for the park. It's a good, compact roller coaster. And I said it, and many other people have said this in the past as well. This is only filler for the Volcano site. Now, of course, for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, Volcano the Blast Coaster is a launched shuttle intermin inverted coaster. Uh, it closed back in 2018. We didn't get a chance to ride it and say goodbye uh, in the proper uh, ceremonial memorial way. However, we know now that there is potential rumours of a new coaster on Volcano's site. Volcano's been completely demolished. The site's been completely flattened. Um, we know that the, the ride uh, that sets to go on Crypt site is right near towards uh, Avalanche, which is right next to uh, Volcano at the back. Um, but one big thing was the rumour of a B&M Wing Coaster, and we heard the plans have been shelved for that. Now, we don't know if that means they're going to bring back the Wing Coaster plans, but as, as a bigger coaster, uh, like a bigger version of the Wing Coaster layout that they originally intended, or whether they were going to do a different type of coaster. Uh, we don't know at this point. But I think Volcano Site is going to be the bigger of the two coasters. I think the Crypt Site being replaced with a 4D free spin is the filler year for a bigger project. We know Busch Gardens Williamsburg, they've done two back-to-back -back coasters now. They've got one coming, uh, well, if we do get to ride it this year, if any of us get to ride it this year, uh, Pantheon. Uh, which is their Intamin multi-launch. And then they've got a launch shuttle coaster coming in 2021, or planned to come in 2021, on the former site of Drakenfire. Uh, so, yeah, this is an interesting one. It'd be great to see two back-to-back -back coasters uh, for another Virginia park. Um, you know, Busch Gardens Williamsburg in Williamsburg, Virginia, Kings Dominion uh, in Doswell, Virginia. You know, it's another Virginia part to get back-to-back -back coasters. I think that it would work. Uh, it's it's feasible. It's not, not feasible, but it is feasible, so it could work. Um, and I think, to be fair with Busch Gardens Williamsburg, I think the only reason they're back-to-back -back is because there was like a rumour going around that they were going to be one coaster, but they split them off, so it's going to be two separate coasters now. Again, comment down below if you think that rumour is true or not. But, I think with King's Dominion, they could take a year break, uh, or they could work on the Volcano replacement throughout the 2021 season while people are enjoying the new 4D free spin or whatever it is on Crypt site. Of course, when more information and more evidence comes out about what type of coaster it could be, obviously we'll report it here on Coast Channel YouTube channel. Uh, but overall, guys, I'm really excited about this. I, I'm really excited about this because I think it's going to be a great, great project. Like I said, it's filler, but it's a good filler coaster year. I think it's a good year for a good compact uh, thrill coaster. Batman the Ride at Six Flags Fiesta Texas, the Jokers across many Six Flags parks, um, even outside of Six Flags, you know, you've got, um, you've got Arashi, which means storm in Japan over at Nagashima Spa on the open a few years ago. You know, there's, there's many different 4D free spins out there, and I think doing one for King's Dominion is no different to any other. I think this is going to be a bigger one. I think with the bigger footprint than we first thought i think it could potentially be longer than the six flags ones it was either going to go one or two ways it was either going to be longer than the six flags ones or it's going to be shorter and the big rumor first was shorter but i think with the footprint i think it will be longer in my personal opinion i think it's going to be much longer um i think it'll be around about the same length but i think it'll be slightly longer not too much longer but i think if it was longer it would be just slightly longer than the six flags ones which would really you know, take the mick out of Six Flags fanboys and fangirls, but we move on. We move on because we love coasters no matter what size, no matter what length, no matter what speed, no matter how many versions or special elements, show elements as we call them in the industry. It doesn't matter what they do. We love coasters and we love riding them for what they are. 
Uh, so, I definitely think that a 4D free spin, because it's such a cutting edge technology coaster, I think it is a crowd pleaser. It is um, a very uh, GP edition. But I've a, I've a gut feeling that the one replacing Volcano the Blast Coaster in the near future, in the next couple of years, I think that will be an enthusiast edition. Now, I don't know what it could be. It could be a much improved plan of the B&M Wing Coaster. It could be a single rail coaster. We don't know. We we have no idea. But I think, I've got a feeling it will be a enthusiasts as well as a GP crowd pleaser. But I think it will be more an enthusiast edition. I think the SNS 43 spin is very GP edition because I think, because many of us enthusiasts have already seen 43 spins to a penny everywhere in America. Uh, but I do believe that um, this 43 spin rumoured for King's Dominion in 2021, I think it will be a GP edition because it's cutting edge, it's technology, it's finest, and I think it will be quite the, the thrill ride for the general public. So uh, I don't think many of us can complain about this really if it is going to be a free spin, whether it's shorter or longer than the Six Flags ones. We don't care. I don't care personally. I just, I just want it to be... a 4D free spin because I think it'd be a great fit for the park and it'd be great for the general public to ride in 2021 so there we go so thank you very much guys for watching this video on King's Dominion uh, and the uh, work being taking place on the Crypt site over the coronavirus pandemic uh, thank you very much guys make sure you like comment subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss YouTube video and for now guys my name is Coach Chow keep on the Coast Live and I'll see you guys in the next video very very soon take care guys have an awesome day